pretty one, Ulysses. There it is. Hello, Booktube. I'm Sean the Book Maniac. Welcome back to my channel. Here I am with another tag. This is the old Just a Terrible Book tag uh, created by Adrian at Stripped Cover Lit. And I'm going to do it even though I wasn't tagged. How terrible was that not to be tagged? Um, I, dis I kept dithering about whether I would do it because question number 10, you have to tag some terrible booktubers and insult them. And as much as I love... Uh, uh, going on rants about books that I don't like or writers that I don't like, which really draws me to this tag, I am not the kind of person that I'm going to even playfully insult other booktubers. With a few exceptions, but they've already been insulted. Like, I'm not going to pick on Steve Donahue. He's already been <laughs> tagged and insulted by Adrian and Juan. And, uh, you know, some people you just have that rapport with, but in the main, I don't. I don't do that with people I like. <laughs> And Steve, I love you, but, you know, that's the kind of rapport that we have. I could maybe come up with something witty against, uh, about Adam of Memento Mori, but where the hell is he? So, no, I'm not going to insult anybody for number 10, and so now I can relax and do the tag. Number one, what is the worst book you've ever read for pleasure? Well, I bail on terrible books, but in the old days before I discovered the magic of bailing, and became a royal personage, the Empress of Bailing. The worst book that I ever read from cover to cover was, oh my God, what the hell is it? About the uh, French Art Museum. Oh my God. The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, which I always describe as being an all-time low in a lifetime of reading. Toilet paper. Two, what is the worst book you ever read for school? Any post-structurist literary theory? Derrida, Foucault, all of those assholes, including the feminist ones, Kristeva, it just, the kind of writing that it was originally written in Yugoslavian and then translated into French by Google Translated and then by Google Translated and then translated into Russian and then into Cree and then into English. Three, who is the worst writer ever? Just based on recent reading, I have to say, sadly, the Zimbabwean writer, Sisi Dangaramba. I read two and a half of her novels, and I bailed on the third in the trilogy halfway through. That one was called This Mournable Body, and they are the worst prose fiction I have read in my entire life. And I have a video <laughs> review <laughs> rant explaining all that in detail. Honorable mentions, the Canadian novelist Timothy Findlay, the gay writer James Purdy, or Gordon Merrick, and others. Four, worst book to movie adaptation. I have to say that I'm not interested in movies and I'm not interested in book to movie adaptations. The books are always better, with the exception of The Hours, which was really good. But in terms of really bad ones, the Michael Cunningham novel, A Home at the End of the World, that was an awful adaptation. And so was the South African memoir, Country of My Skull. That movie was just dreadful. Also, the gay novel from America that was made into a Canadian, adapted by, into a Canadian film. I don't even have to finish this sentence. Of course it was awful. Canadian film! Oh, Jesus Christ. Breakfast with Scott by Michael Downing. Do read the novel. Don't watch the movie. I thought I would have nothing to say, but those all just came to me. Five, what is your least favorite type of booktube video to film? Well, I don't have a strong hate about filming any type of video, but I did give up doing monthly wrap-ups. Those are exhausting for me to make. To refreshen my reactions to the 10 or 15 books that I've read in one month to make a video, it just exhausted me. It took so much preparation and I abandoned it in the first my first year in favor of doing more uh, detailed Friday reads. So... Don't like doing monthly wrap-ups. There's no other type of video that I don't like making. I have more to say about number six. What is your least favorite type of booktube video to watch? It's not so much that I don't like watching them as that I don't watch them. Um, I wanted to vomit as soon as I heard what the booktube favorites video was about. Things that you buy not that are not books in the month. That's just disgusting, so I've never watched one of those. I'm not interested in watching on-haul videos, but 
people love watching mine, so I do occasionally make my own, but I'm, I don't watch book on haul videos. Unboxings strike me as pretentious beyond my ability to stomach them, so I've never watched one of those. But maybe that's it. Everything else I'd love. Worst book cover ever. Uh, any book by Fitzcarraldo. They're butt ugly. Any book done in this hor horrifically ugly style from Persephone Books. And also, I think it's the UK cover of one of my favorite books from last year. Aqueque Ameze's Freshwater. Okay, here is the American edition. Which I have, and I'm too lazy to pull off my shelf. And here's the British edition. Eight, what is the least fun you've ever had reading a book? Um, I I'm not sure how to meaningfully answer this question other than to refer back to the books that I've already talked about that I hated. So I'm just going to carry on. Last book you DNF'd. Well, it's only eight o'clock, so lots more can happen before bedtime. But the last one I DNF'd was, I was quite sad to do so. And that was an audiobook of a Pakistani British novel, The Golden Legend by Nadim Aslam. I listened to almost half of it. And while I found the story really interesting, the characters were so sparsely drawn that I felt nothing for them. So I felt interested in the story in a way that I would feel if I was reading a news article about these people. I didn't care about them as characters, and that is not my kind of book, so I bailed. Wow, well, that was really fast. So I'm supposed to tag some terrible booktubers and insult them, and I'm not going to insult them, but I'm going to tag Mel of Mel's Bookland Adventures. I'm going to tag Brian of Bookish, Charlie Brook, Heidi of My Reading Life, Anna Bailey Karras, and Alan Morton, newest booktuber, one of mine and many of your subscribers, and he has just launched his own channel. So I'm going to put a link beside his name in the show notes because you must check him out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Oh.